and uh, we can see for Gaius it's a, it's a kind of redemption to to start over without technology. For him it's personal, yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, and I think that was a beautiful thing in the writing, mm. to make it personal. Yeah. His whole life has been escaping his dad, much like Lee's, like, you, you realise at the end yeah, they're quite similar. Yeah, ex exactly. You know, for him it's about farming, for me it's the military. Um, but yeah, I thought, I, 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 I wept when I saw that, he was, <laughs> I find it now, it's, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. So that simplicity and that's the point of the end of Battlestar, is, is these people are a bit wiser than they were at the beginning. And I think that's Lee's moment of clarity too, to say, you know what, let's just enjoy being human beings yeah. in, a, in, a, in a wilderness. Having, the, having this kind of self-conscious about simplicity of life and stuff, how do you handle living in the film industry? Who, me? Yeah. Because uh, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> Um, no, honestly, how do you handle that? No, I, I honestly... The waste of money... No, I, I, listen, I'm not a great person. Um, I'm not a great environmentalist, but um, I, I believe that we uh, are in a position where we really have to take stock. Um, and you're right, I'm a complete contradiction. I, I live in LA and fly to London and I, I work in the film industry, which is just about entertaining people and it's not doing anything practical for the world. But the only way I can reconcile it is hopefully you cause debate, you know, you tell stories that, I mean, the films that I like to watch are the ones that make you think and examine yourself and they are about going to a dark room and watching, you know, big people uh, explore things in two hours that, you know, resonate in your mind and I think writers of fiction and filmmakers have always been at the very forefront of that. Jules Verne, who we celebrate, you know, this weekend, that's what, it's what he was doing, was it pushing the limits of, of, of human experience so that humans can and that's what science fiction does too. It pushes the limits of human experience so that you can better understand what it is to be human. I, the only thing I can say is that's what I'm doing, but you know, I still live a, a way too extravagant lifestyle. Not that mine's particularly extravagant, it's not. I, I'm a family guy, and I, but you know, we like nice things, we like to go on holiday and all that, and we can't keep doing that as a race. We can't keep being selfish. We, and then the other hope is that technology will save us, we'll find technology like artificial photosynthesis and we'll be able to solve all our problems, but if that happens, we'll, we'll create more problems, you know, <laughs> so it's just the human situation. And uh, what about the, the other members of the cast, do you uh, see them again, yeah. uh, do you have still connection with Yeah, them? I'm in touch with all of them, and I, I, yeah, I don't see them as much as we used to, but um, Every single one is a, is a friend. Every single one is my in my in my technological device. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in there, and I, I speak to them or email them or see them regularly. Yeah, and I, I think that'll happen um, till we all. Uh, how was the last day of the? The last day for yeah, me of filming was too crazy to be poignant. It was <laughs> I was f running around with a gun, shooting uh, people, and uh, at four in the morning we overran. It was crazy. So there was no time to reflect on the last day, but there were many days up to that which were all about reflection and nostalgia, lived in the moment. It was a weird experience. There was life and art intermingled. Okay. Merci. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci.